Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're checking out an asset on the Asset Store for Road Barricades. Now, this is just a simple asset, but it's a case of, you know, you need these kind of things if you're creating like a city game, but they're not something that you would generally look to find. And you stumble across this kind of asset and think, oh, actually, that's a really good asset that will come in useful for my game. So let's take a look at the demo scene that it comes with. And you see, it's, it's like I say, it's simple and you get what you're given. And I think this serves a good purpose. Quality, I think it's really decent. They look really nice. I mean, the higher quality than a lot of assets you do get on the asset store, just look at it, it's, it's really, really nice. And sometimes all it takes is maybe just a little bit of post-processing to really get it uh, looking, you know, awesome, as it were. Uh, so I've got rid of one of those there because it's a little bit, it, it's intersecting a bit and it's making my eyes go funny, but that doesn't really matter too much. As a bit of post-processing, just, you know, kind of, if you're creating that style of game, and I think they look fairly nice. Quantity, we get exactly that. We get a couple of barricades, we get a couple of traffic cones, and obviously some concrete. Uh, obviously, you can customize this as well if you need to, to make it look kind of cool. Play around with a normal map, make it look gritty, you know, play around with the texture, the material. Do what you need to do to make it look as, you know, smooth or as gritty or as old or as new as you want. Play around with the colors if you need to. Um, so, yeah, it's customizable to that degree. and. I think they're really, really nice. I, I do like these. And I can actually see myself using them in one of my tutorials should the need arise. Price is free as of recording this review, but don't forget prices do change. They go up, they come down. So if you stumble across it and it's not free, you know, it might be free again at some point, but hopefully it'll still be free whenever you see it. Uh, size is a little under 40 megabytes and I'd say that's not too bad actually because it is a bit higher quality than some assets like I say so that kind of size is expected. Just be mindful if you're on a slow connection or you're on a metered connection too. So I do like the asset and I can see it being useful in uh, various different games even if you just want to find a traffic cone there's one right there so you can probably get this asset pack just for the cones if you needed to. And I think it's they're really, really nice. I do like the quality of them as well. They look really, really nice. Obviously, there are better quality out there, but usually you have to pay for that kind of thing like quite a lot or have the know-how to create your own. Folders are all neatly laid out, as we can see right here. It's always good to see nice, neat folders. Extras, there's nothing really in the way of extras, I don't think, unless you want to count the concrete. But quantity-wise, we get this and I think that's enough for what we see. Like I said the biggest useful thing for me is if you're creating a city game and you kind of need some barriers blocking off a road or something it's going to be really really useful for that. So as you guys know I don't rate assets I either recommend them or I don't and I'd probably recommend this definitely because I think more than anything it's gonna be useful to have you know, some extra little something to the city, something that's closed off. And rather than just have an invisible wall or something, why not have something like this to stop the player going through? So yeah, I'd recommend this. So guys, have you used it in your game at all? If you have, let me know what you think, what could be better, what is not so good about it, if anything at all. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.